So when I first switched over to Capture One, one of the tools I was uh, really excited for was a skin tone tool. But when I started using it, I didn't really get it. And uh, I would ask friends who have been using Capture One for a couple years, and they would show me all like these workarounds and everything. Um, but after just fidgeting with it a little bit, I figured out like the proper way to use it. I mean, for me, it's the proper way to use it. It works amazingly for, for the way I do it. And I would show th those friends that show me like their ways that they were doing it. And they're like, what the heck, this is way easier. I've been using Capture One now for um, maybe like six months, I think now. Yeah, it's totally, it's, it's just, I don't know. Uh, I've made a video before about switching and, and how uh, much it just like reinvigorated my, my photography. And when I was using Lightroom, I thought I like was like just I I thought I sucked. Thought I lost my mojo after switching over to Fuji, because uh, the files just doesn't react well in Lightroom. But when I switched over to Capture One, uh, I was like I don't suck. At least not as bad as I thought I did. So yeah, uh, let's just jump into the this this the skin tone thing. So I picked this picture because it has a lot of reds in it, uh, and then her skin tones. So. The issue is that what a lot of people have is they click the skin tones, right? Um, I all, always go and lift that up. And then if you go into into the view selected color range, you see it has all the reds in it too. So from what I've seen, a lot of people will go in and create a new field layer. Um, let's rename it to skin just so we keep everything organized. Go into the color editor, go and click on the skin. Um, View selected color range, and again, you see all the red. So a lot of the times, what they would do is they would go and erase out all of uh, the surroundings except for the skins, or they would just create a new layer and they would fill in on top of the skin. And so when they did the skin tone thing, uh, it wouldn't affect anything, and they would erase out over the lips. Well, what I do, so after I click on the skin, I just do this. I go to this red right here. And I fine tune all the reds out and you'll see oh look at that so now the lips aren't selected and these reds back here and we can even fine tune this a little bit more so let's pick up the the color drop tool let's move this up a little bit let's take even more reds out look at that so we're losing some of the skin tone so I'm gonna bump up my softness a little bit there you go let's take some of the yellows out so it's not affecting everything. All right, and do you see? All of a sudden, our reds aren't affected anymore. It's way easier that way. Um, so let's go and affect the lightness, saturation. Let's fix our hues up a little bit. Skin tones are a little too high now. Let's add some more magenta to the skins. Lower this lightness and makes it look a little too unnatural, a little too good. Saturation up. Boom before and after on that see it's not affecting the reds either and then usually I go into my vans and I fine-tune it a little bit more so I will go over to the reds I'll tap this middle part and just so again we can fine-tune it so it's not getting the skin tones I just want to affect the reds now so look at that now we just got our reds so now I could bump those up a little bit make those a little more saturated so yeah it's that easy um... I got all my friends switching over to do this, so now they don't have to go and mask out the lips and the surrounding area or the skin tones. Uh, you can just do that, just raise the red part up. Also, you can use that in the advanced color tools too, if you're trying to get really specific colors and the, the drop tools not just do it precisely. Just go in and just fidget with it and make sure your, uh, your uh, view selected color range is on so you can actually see what it's doing. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of that. Let me know if you have an easier way of doing it. I don't know if it gets any easier than that. So, yeah, guys. Peace.